I really don't know how, how it all works. I'm not good at religion, but I do know that apparently Jesus returns or and the world starts basically going to shit, hell in a handbasket. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another installment of this strange thing that I do on the internet. I am your host, Black Hoodie, and today the low carb trend continues. We are having some wings, one of my favorite foods. Many of you know this. If there's anybody new, you may not know this. New information for you. I love wings. Definitely on my top three in life of foods. 
I usually have some vegetables, either like celery or carrots, but today I want no distractions. I want to go straight in. I want to clean bones and I want to live in a wing paradise. Okay. So I have a random flavor that I cooked up, which was a butter, lemon, pepper, and horseradish additive. I thought it would be a nice little bite ski on the palate. And then my sort of medium that I make at home with just a bunch of other people's sauces, like brands that I mix together and create this but I don't represent for brands anymore unless they reach out okay got some lemon for decorative really I might squeeze a little bit on these ones but for the most part she gone all right before we do anything more we must up 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 uh. pour and we're back baby we're finally back the doctor was on vacation little hiatus doctor might have came down with it their own little sickness for a while and needed some tending to was off grid off radar but uh the doc is back and uh i'm ready for it because i've been off the doctor for a little bit and uh my ass needs saving so we fizz we bubble we fountain of fountain of youth we get closer and closer every day to these dreams of ours. Do we? I don't know. Hopefully. Oh, mm. That is crisp today because, ooh, ooh, hitting much different due to the fact that it's been so long for me, I feel like. And for me, a long time with that is like a week. Okay, so where do we go? Let's go into the lemon pepper, the more naked version. Bada bing, bada boom, nice and a little crispy. And uh, we're gonna ranch dip it right off top. Unreal. That lemon and butter cutting through perfectly. Nice and rich. Nice and crisp. Mmm. Wow, just enough lemon. Just enough pepper. The horseradish. Admittedly, it's kind of lost. But, you know, it's fine with me. They're still delicious. Okay. So, this is like more of a medium. I love medium. Medium is definitely my favorite wing flavor. Just not lighten me up, not too aggressive, not too intrusive. 
Just a beautiful, fun time. Mmm. Clean your bones, people. Clean your bones. Man. If I had one wish, honestly, in this world, it would be that my nose doesn't get itchy when I eat. I don't know what this is, but it happens to me all the time. Someone should do a super cut of my videos from over the years. Black hoodie incessantly itches nose. While cramming his face. It would definitely have to be a hater to do it. Like one of those shade channels, those tea bangs or whatever. Those people uh, that have made now. It's so crazy to me that mukbang has got to the point. I never saw this coming, but. Mukbang has got to the point. Where there's literally a community of channels, creators now. That basically shade, throw shade at, make fun of YouTubers or mukbangers and cover the drama. And these channels have a ton of subscribers and they make they have huge views I mean I should have known eventually that was gonna be a thing Because these type of channels exist. In a lot of other lanes. So it's like, why wouldn't it happen here? But that's just crazy now to think of. So basically, because we, <clears throat> well not me, because I've never been featured in one of these channels, it's a point of pride for me to be honest, to have never been like shade banged or whatever. I've never been like made fun of on one of these channels. Which I'm happy about, but it's crazy that the ripple effect of people mukbanging has essentially started a whole new category of creators and inspired these people 
to have this. I don't, you know, creative outlet that they have. One interesting thing to point out though, is that all of these shade channels are faceless. I'm hoping one day one of them will have the balls to go full Keemstar and just own it. Red people. Report on them. But be a face. Face up. Probably never will happen. I haven't spoken on this yet. But it's actually nuts. Is <clears throat> I've been keeping an eye on the whole Australia thing. The Australia fires. Shit's insane. So, for those people that I know in Australia, because I know some people in Australia, I hope you stay safe. I hope everything goes well. Like, I hope you get to a safe area. And, uh, come out of this okay. That shit is nuts. Is this the rapture? It was 2020. Finally the time. We got these prophecies come true. Jesus descends upon us lake of fire or whatever all that stuff you know I really don't know how, how it all works I'm not good at religion but I do know that apparently Jesus returns or and the world starts basically going to shit hell in a handbasket like whatever Trump's up to right now is insano with Iran so who knows on the cusp of World War 3 Australia is on fire, like completely. Signs of the times. What's going on out there?
<clears throat> there's actually this one ASMR artist. Who's legit one of my favorites. And his name is Aussie, Aussie Man ASMR. If you don't know him, and you like uh, simple just talking, like whispering ASMR. He's got some of the best videos I've ever heard for that lane. But I went over to his wall the other day to see if he's been affected. He's still uploading, so it seems like he's all good. But he hasn't made a video with any commentary. Regarding his own personal situation. Am I sweating under the eyes? Probably. I'm always in debate. I'm like, do I kind of clean up and go for a drink? Or do I just keep pushing through? Because I have this thing where I hate getting the exterior of my cup dirty. I find it disgusting. I respect my cup too much to do that to it. That's an itchy nose. I just hate the feeling of picking up a greasy ass, saucy ass cup. That one bite in there was extra special. I don't know what that was. But it was maze balls. stretch and this is an easy finisher today guys I think at this point I've I'm fasted 26 hours so my hunger levels For this video, we're popping. At an all time high. Not to mention, I've been on the low carb. So 
so like between yesterday's low carb meal and now the stomach's ready you know there's not a lot of whole lot of bread or big stuff to digest I think this was probably about technically like three pounds. About 20, I think probably 27 wings. Usually these packs are about 27. which is generally, if I go to like an all you can eat or a cheap wing night, I usually hit three pounds and tap out. Anything further is, usually gets too far. Cleaning bones to the very end. That's what it's about. Mmm, almost perfect. What a great meal. What a perfect, fulfilling, satiating. Not too full, just right. Goldilocks wing meal. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Till the next one, you know what to do eat good, live well, stay true.